everyone, it's Jill with Angel Creations. Welcome to my dining room. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. I have a very sore hand, sore foot too. Uh, you should see me trying to get my hair up in a ponytail. Oh, what fun, what fun. No makeup. Hey, this is real life, right? So today I want to bring to you 15 of my must Tabs, my things that I always, always grab when I go to the Dollar Tree. My 15 must-haves in my house, right? Or, or just must-haves. So the first thing I want to show you that I always, always pick up at the Dollar Tree is the Chase's Cleaners. I use all of these Chase's cleaners. So this is the name Chase, and this is the furniture polish. Love it. Just as good as Pledge, $1.25. This is the glass cleaner, and I like this better than Windex, if you can believe that. I love the aerosol part of it, and I just feel like this works on excuse me all the things so I love that and I have the bathroom one which I didn't dig out of the bathroom but trust me I love the bathroom cleaner and then this is the spray disinfectant and this is like Lysol it's like a air freshener Lysol and I love it and it's a dollar 25 Lysol for the same um what do we have here I don't know how many ounces we have here, but pretty much for the same size can of Lysol is like four something. So for $1.25, I love all of the Chase uh, cleaning products. Love them. Absolutely love them. I don't need anything fancy. It doesn't have to say pledge. Nobody is looking in my cabinets where my cleaning things are. So I pick these up all the time if I am in need. Another thing is a must have for me is um, I use a Tide free and clear. There's no, um, no dyes and no odor or anything. I used to be a gain girl girl all the time. But I recently have switched to Tide Free and Clear. And so I pick up for $1.25, I pick up these in-wash fragrance boosters. Oh, I love the smell of this green one. I wish you guys could smell it. And what it is, is it's just little crystals. This is not the pastels. These are little crystals. Um, and I love to put those. They're kind of like the unstoppables, right? And they also have a bigger one um, that I sometimes will pick up. But I always pick up some in-wash fragrance booster. It's just a great, great way to make your laundry fresher and smell fresh for a long time. And it's like the Downy Unstoppables but it's only $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. So I always pick up some sort of the uh, In Laundry, In Wash Fragrance Booster. Love, love, love it. Love it. Another thing I always, always pick up at the Dollar Tree is soap, hand soap. Normally I like, the, I always buy Dial and I normally like the one that is the pink Himalayan sea salt, but I haven't been able to get it lately. So um, this one is the coconut water and mango and OMG. I love another one that um, you can't smell it, so why open it? But um, another really, really good deal. Like I said, every time I go, I will pick one of these up and just put it in my stash so I never run out. And I I want to tell you another little secret. I have a foaming dispenser. So what I do is half this. I will put half of this in my um, soap dispenser and then I add water to the other half, shake it up, and I have the best foaming soap because it's the dispenser part that foams it. And if I use this straight, it's too thick to foam it. So I cut it down with a little water, makes this go twice as far, and I love the foaming soap. So we love the scent. We love the pink Himalayan salt the best, but this one is also good. 
good. So I always pick up my hand soaps at the Dollar Tree. And then another thing I love to pick up, which is along the same lines as this, is this Fresh Linen Automatic Spray. So I should have brought it over, but I have one of those Glad... You put batteries in it and you can set it to like 9, 18, or 36 minutes and it will just spray every 9, 18, or 36 minutes, whatever you put it on. And um, this is the refill and I don't use Glad. I don't pick up those Glad ones. I love these from the Dollar Tree. So, ow, it hurts my hand. This is what the top looks like. Now, if you don't have an automatic dispenser, you can spray this anyway. But, my cats are running. They don't like spray. But, um, this fits in the Glad automatic spray thing. So, I pick these up all the time, too. They do have other flavors. Not flavors. Scents. But, this is my favorite. It's a very fresh linen... I like this one. I've tried the Hawaiian ones. Those are good. They smell really, really nice, but I don't want my house to smell like that. This is more fresh linen, clean, and I always, always am looking for these, always picking one up when I see them, and I keep them in my stash. Another thing that I clean with that you might be surprised to hear is baby oil. I pick up my baby oil at the Dollar Tree, and I don't really have to pick this up every time because I use a very, very, very little tiny bit. But I have stainless steel, a few, a few stainless steel appliances. And the if you put just a little bit of baby oil on a microfiber cloth and you go over your stainless steel, you get all those fingerprints and smudges off. It will just be a nice, shiny stainless steel. And you don't want to use a lot because you don't want it greasy. You just put a, like a dime size on the corner of a microfiber rag and I just basically use my two fingers with the rag and just go all over the whole thing and it's a nice shiny and clean stainless steel. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> So this is a great deal. I don't really know how much dollar, I mean, how much other stores sell baby oil for. I really don't. I've always just got in, got in it at the Dollar Tree. So, um, but it's one of my must-haves. All right, another thing that I love to get, I send all, I send my grandson especially, um, a card for all the holidays, you know, Christmas, all the holidays, even the just silly little fun ones like St. Patrick's Day. Um, but I love to send him. He lives in Tennessee now. I'm in Florida. So we don't get to see each other all the time. We do talk on the phone all the time. He is almost 14. But I love to pick up greeting cards. Greeting cards are a must-have at the Dollar Tree. They're still two for. So they're two for $1.25. Um, and I love to pick up all of my greeting cards there to send to not only my grandson, but I also have some favorite littles. I have some great nephews and a favorite five-year-old and all the things. So I do often like to go pick up my greeting cards at the Dollar Tree because why not? They're Hallmark. And they're a doll, two for a dollar, right? Two for a dollar, 25. So I always pick up those. Those are my must-haves. I don't think I've bought a birthday card or any greeting card anywhere but the Dollar Tree for probably 10 years. Probably. Yeah, all my cards come from the Dollar Tree. All right, let me take, let me wet the whistle. Mm-hmm. Really loving that circle water bottle. Not sponsored. All right, the next thing I love to pick up, and I actually do pick this up every single time I go to the Dollar Tree, and that is cat 
cookies because my co-workers they need their cat treats and um, pick them up at the Dollar Tree because they're $1.25 now something like this is there all the time so I always pick these up you know they have their regulars and then you get treats like this once in a while that is a new thing to the Dollar Tree. My cats actually love this. It's so funny. It's called tuna and cranberries. But my cats love this. So I picked up a few of these to keep and intermix, you know, with, you know, give them some of these for a while and then some of these and then they have other treats too. But every once in a while, I'll throw one of these wellness ones in because they're different and the cats are really loving that. So cookies, cat cookies, they're a must have. I'm always at the Dollar Tree and I always need cat cookies. So why not pick them up while I'm there, right? All right, another must have when I go to the Dollar Tree, and this is another example of, I don't realize, I don't think I have, I, I really don't think I bought any hair accessories either. I cannot think of any hair accessories that I have bought outside of the Dollar Tree since my hair has grown out. Oh, you should have seen me putting this ponytail in today, let me tell you. Right? Last last couple of weeks it was this thumb with an infect an infected panicular, and now it's this thumb because I had a biopsy and stitches. I went to the doctor today because I'm really not feeling that great, hence the ponytail and no makeup. <laughs> I'm really not feeling that great and I had to go to the doctor anyway and he said I don't have a fever or anything so he thinks it was just, I have lupus and fibro and a bunch of things so he thinks that, um, and I kind of was thinking this too, sometimes my body gets almost like a shock. And the trauma from having a biopsy here and on the bottom of my right foot, which is no fun walking, um, the trauma just sets me back. And so last night I was almost feeling ill to the point where I felt like I was coming down with something, but woke up a little better this morning. And he said, it's just that your body goes into a little shock from the trauma and yeah, so I'm not feeling great today, but I am feeling better than I did last night. So back to the hair accessories. Since I've grown out my hair, I have not bought a hair accessory anywhere other than the Dollar Tree. And I buy all my clips and barrettes at the Dollar Tree just as good as any other let me tell you and they have brand names scunchy is a brand name i get all my scrunchies at the dollar tree too and some of them are very pretty all different you can really you know get all the hair care um fasteners or uh whatever it is that you need even hair sprays and conditioners and all the things for your hair. I have not gone to any hair place or even Walmart or Target to buy any of my hair accessories because they're great at the Dollar Tree for a dollar twenty-five. Sometimes you get more than one on a card, you know. So I love to get all my hair accessories at the Dollar Tree. Those are a must have because my hair is long now and I really need some attention it needs to be cut I need to cut off all the dead ends here um my goodness one thing after another so hair accessories are a must have from the Dollar Tree I really really love all of their Dollar Tree clips and barrettes and scunchies really 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 good Another thing I like to pick myself up every time I go to the Dollar Tree, and maybe not every, but a lot, a lot of times I will pick this up. Um, it's a must-have. One of the things that I pick up is clear nail polish, and I don't really care what brand it is. I use a lot of clear, clear nail polish over my polish to make it last longer so one of the things I love and I when I run out I'll buy another one always but it takes a while is the miracle nail 
I love this miracle nail. It's got all the things that nourish your nails and make them stronger and harder and they grow good. And um, it, it's just a good, uh, it's a Dollar Tree brand, but I love miracle nail. I wanted to say to a friend of mine while I'm here, Linda, Linda is learning or not learning, but trying to grow her nails. She stopped biting them. She's a nail biter. And this is great stuff, Linda. If you see it at the Dollar Tree, it really helps your nails. And after biting your nails for all these years, you probably will need a little of this miracle nail. And then any, like I said, this is the CV um, brand, but and what that is color vibes I think yeah color vibe um, but it doesn't matter any clear polish they sell I buy because I just need a top coat okay burlap ribbon so being a crafter every day I am a crafter so every day I'll use a lot of the Dollar Tree burlap ribbon it's kind of a staple in my craft room so i did not have a new one unopened to show you but i will show you this i love the burlap ribbon it is wired edges nice finished edges wire so you can bend it and mold it and burlap ribbon is just everything it's on trend it's all the rage and i use it a lot in my decor um, a lot of times I will use it just in my house for decor sometimes I but I always always use it in crafting and so I go through a lot of it you do get nine feet of it um, but you know three yards is a yardstick so it sounds like a lot but when you use it a lot every day it goes you go through it pretty quickly so we just ended up using up um, one of them the other day and used a piece of this one that I opened and um, so yeah it doesn't last very long around my house here so I love to pick up burlap ribbon at the Dollar Tree because it's a lot more expensive at the Hobby Lobby let me tell you Another thing I love to pick up, and I, again, have not bought these outside of the Dollar Tree for years, and I love them, is socks. They have all kinds of socks at the Dollar Tree that you can buy. So we have some little ankle ones, little whatever these are called, little, I'm not going to, these are probably more ankle height. Uh, I don't know what you want to call these, but they have all the different kinds. Look at, they have brand name Gold Toe. Lots of Gold Toe. Um, so these are a knee sock. I have some ankle socks. They have little crew socks. They have them for male and female and children and babies. And these socks are just as good at the Dollar Tree than anywhere else anywhere else all our socks i love to get socks at the dollar tree and sometimes there's nothing wrong with these socks and sometimes you can get like this came with two in a package i have the other ones on at the moment they have flowers um but sometimes you get two or three pairs on um a, a card at the dollar tree for a dollar 25 and like i said don't skimp over them because they have lots of brand names like gold toe bum equipment they have juncture is a dollar tree brand name but these are juncture i love them these are perfectly good socks nothing wrong with those so i like to pick up all of my socks these are a must-have i haven't bought socks at any other department store in years years and i've recently tried to slow down on picking up socks because for a while i was obsessed with socks at the dollar tree and about a month or two ago no it was probably a little longer than that Maybe even before Christmas, I ended up giving a whole bunch, a big bag full of socks away because I had too many. So, um, but I...
yeah i love my dollar tree socks i have to say i love my dollar tree socks another thing that i love to pick up at the Dollar Tree, and this is probably almost every single time I go. And that is batteries of all shapes and sizes because I use a lot of batteries in things that I do, right? Um, things that I make and give away, a lot of them have batteries. If I have something that I put fairy lights like a craft that has fairy lights on it or any craft that I've made with lights they usually need batteries so I pick these up all the time and then anyone needs a battery I usually have it in any shape size or strength um, but I love them and I don't have any problem with them I always usually get the E circuit whoops I dropped them E circuit is the brand and I have no trouble I always also look for it to say high drain if it says for low drain um, I feel like it's a weaker battery and it's not gonna last as long so I always get the one that is ideal for high drain devices but I always, always use them. So I'm always picking them up at the Dollar Tree because batteries are expensive. If you price batteries like Duracell and all those, I mean, I definitely have Duracell in my smoke detectors, certain things. But when I am crafting or I just need batteries for a flashlight or any reason even my uh, remotes I use these batteries for so all my outside as a matter of fact last year they came out Dollar Tree had the torch lights there were little square crisscross lights and they looked like flame and they were solar this year I went around and I took the covers off and they had one I can't remember if it was a double-A or a triple-A battery inside them. I replaced every single one of them, and they're all working like brand new. So you can replace sometimes the batteries in your solar lights. So before you throw them away, because I always say, ah, you get about a season out of them from the Dollar Tree. Well, just buy batteries, and then you don't have to replace the whole light. So I re redid all of my torch lights and they're all working like brand new again. Batteries must have. Because I'm a crafter, another must have is Mod Podge. I love to pick Mod Podge up at the Dollar Tree and I'm not going to tell you it's a really good economical deal because I'm not sure if price wise it really is. You only get two ounces in here, but... I don't really need any other doll. I don't need to get a big one because I'm always at the Dollar Tree and they always have Mod Podge and so I always pick one up. Sometimes I pick up different ones like this one is a water-based sealer and it is in a gloss, right? And then I picked this one up which is in a matte. So they offer both a gloss and a matte. And I use matte more so. Obviously, there's still a um, wrapper on this one. But I use these in my craft room all the time. And you may be able to get a better deal price-wise. But I'm at the Dollar Tree, so when I walk by, I just automatically scoop up some Mod Podge. And then I know I'm going to have it. I'm not going to run out when I need it. All right, another thing that I use both in my home daily and in my craft room very often are these LED pillar candles by Luminescence. You get 120 hours. The batteries come in it. You pull out the little tab here. Uh-oh, we don't have a tab here, so I hope this one works, and it doesn't. Usually you have a little pull tab down here and you would pull that out, somebody already did, and then you turn it on and off and this will flicker. 
but it's not working so that is a shame um, I usually always check too to make sure wait a minute oh wait a minute it might just be bent okay here here we go see it do you see it can you see it sticking out now <laughs> there we go so it was bent down so let's pull that out oh now it broke off so it might still not work because now it broke off inside here so maybe I can get this to work. I just have to work on getting that pull tab out. But when, and I did get half of it out, <laughs> then it broke. But I love these because I craft with them all the time. And I have them all over my home and at night. I also have expensive ones. And you won't know the difference when I have my expensive ones going that have a timer and I have my cheap little Dollar Tree ones that don't have a timer. That's the only thing we need, Dollar Tree, is candles with timers. I wish I could get that out for you. almost want to use my teeth, but I won't. Trust me, you've seen me craft with these. These are great little candles. And again, they're high-end looking, just like you would get at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And when you put them in just a sweet little vignette, with something um you know it really dresses them up but anyway uh not in a place where i can show you that right now but anyways these are a must have for both my home and crafting i love these and not only that did i tell you that when you take this plastic film off of this this candle is wax so it's got a wax finish so it looks like a real candle looks and feels like a real candle and these are great they also have them taller and they also come in red which is great for valentine's day or christmas so if you get like the taller one you could do like a small tall small you this excuse me, I have the hiccups from talking. You can do so much with these LED um, pillar candles. And so I always pick these up at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. Why not? The last thing I want to show you is another must have. And I used to buy these on Amazon. And I haven't bought these on Amazon probably for five years. Once I found these at the Dollar Tree, I started buying them at the Dollar Tree. And I love them. These are, I call them a, um, well, I call it a dishwashing washer like a dishwashing cloth i don't use sponges when i do my dishes i don't have a dishwasher and so when i do my dishes i used to use a sponge but then the sponge would get stinky smelly ew. and a friend of mine turned me on to these microfiber scrubbers and i was buying them from um amazon now I buy them at the Dollar Tree. You get two in a package. I've been using these for about five years and there's no odor. They are like microban or whatever and they have no, you just wash your dishes. You have a scrubby side on one side and a soft side on the other so you don't scratch plastics your plastic glasses or anything um and then you just i just hang it right over my faucet to dry and it lasts for you know a week before i have to toss it and take another one out because it doesn't get that odor you know that smelly smelly odor um and so ow so I really, really love these, and these are a must-have. I get all different colors. I don't care what color I have. Right now on my sink, I have orange. Doesn't go with my house at all, but um, yeah. So I pick these up, and you get two. You get two, and they last forever, ever. So I pick these up so that I always have some that I can, you know, toss in the washing machine and pull out a new clean one. So that will do it for my 15 must-haves from the Dollar Tree. Um, 
I hope this helped you. I know uh, if you guys use any of these products, I would love to know in the comments, especially like these are amazing. If you're wasting money getting Windex and things like that, you are, you're wasting money. You may prefer a uh, Windex. I don't. I, I always used a Windex or the cheaper version of Windex. Now I get this and I love, love, love it. I love it in my car. I love it in my home. I love it for my kitchen, my bathroom mirrors. I love it. I have a big long length mirror in my bedroom and I just love the Chase's cleaners. Trust me, trust me, trust me. So I hope that you saw something, <clears throat> excuse me here, that makes you want to try it. Um, these are honest, honest opinions and not sponsored. I just wanted to come to you and show you that these are my, really my must haves. Uh, there's a few others too that I have, but um, for right now, these are probably the things I look for every time I go. I have Alexa. I don't want to say it because she'll she's always listening and when i am out of one of my products i will just tell alexa add fragrancing booster to my dollar tree list See? So, because this one's almost gone down here. So, um, yeah. So, when I'm out of these things, I put it on my Dollar Tree list. And when I'm in the tr Dollar Tree, I just open up my Alexa app. I look on my list and I say, oh, yeah, got to pick this up. I'm low on Mod Podge or I'm out of nail polish or, you know, maybe there's just a really pretty hair accessory and I pick that up because I won't see it again, right? You know, if you don't pick it up when you see it, it won't be there. So you have to pick it up when you see it. All right, everybody. Well, that will do it for today's video. And I am going to go get some soup in me. It is a little bit after one o'clock and I just kind of had a lazy day. I went to the doctor, like I said, and I did get some really good news. I've lost 10 pounds and my A1C is down a whole number. So I'm really excited about that. So um, that has put a smile on my face today for sure. But I'm gonna go get some soup and I'm gonna sit back and relax and just try to feel a little bit better today than I am feeling right now. And um, so until I see you again, which is tomorrow for my Follow Me Friday, uh, I hope that you be good and do good.